Hello guys, this is the Green Moose and I'm Link, and we're back for another Rod Spotlight, and it's going to be super, super cool, and, really, what are you looking at? He's looking at my crotch. You disgusting little pig. <laughs> oh, don't do it, don't run, I just want, okay, <laughs> let's get off from that idiocracy, um, but we're actually going to be looking at the summon mod, and, uh, it sounds like, um, it's something you would, like, summon into the game, like, uh, new mobs. No, it's actually something, I'd say, much better that really uh, doesn't change the game unless you, I mean, change the game using it. But it's kind of like a too many items thing, so it really doesn't change the game, but it does allow you to kind of cheat. But it is also very, very, very good for people that want to um, world edit stuff, or not world edit, but like make custom maps. I mean, obviously, uh, you can use world edit and... I mean, most people probably for custom ma that make custom maps do use World Edit, but uh, you can also do other things. Oh, that's for the stupid pig spawners. Uh, you can also do other things. Um, I mean, obviously, obviously, most people that make custom maps use too many items for part of it, but instead of using too many items, I would much rather use this. So we're gonna delve down to this hole. Actually, no, we're not. But we're gonna type R, and R adds this whole new list. And before we get anywhere, there's a slash command inside inside it, so you can do time. And then you can do day, night, or the hour. So I mean, so I'm just gonna type in time zero and see what happens. Uh, yeah, and we have the daytime. So that would be hours zero. And you can do any like d slash or not r r slash time day. That would work. That stupid little pig, get the heck out. So also, as you see, there are little things here, and it does pause the game. But uh, you can type in say you want some. I don't know. So you want those logs. So those logs are 23. Um, and then you can type, say you want um, 5. So you can type X5. Because it automatically gives you a stack. So say you want 100. Let's do this and see. And you get like a too many items style stack where you have like unlimited stuff. This is 1.3. Since 1.3 is the newest update. And I keep forgetting about the log placement like this, which I really do like. We're just going to delete our inventory. Now we're going to get an axe. So we're going to type in uh, axe. Oops. And if you type in axe, you just normally get you get this whole list of pickaxes and regular axes. So if you type in diamond axe, you'll be able to, I believe you'll be able to, like, DM and, and uh, axe. Oops, I spelled axe wrong. Like that. But instead of doing that, you can just type in axe. And then, oops, not dax. Axe like this, and then you see how it has an eight right next to the diamond axe. You just hit eight, and you get your diamond axe. And now that's not all. Um, that's not all in the mod. You can also change your game mode. So slash or R. I keep doing it R slash because T and R are right next to each other. So you open the thing. I can't remember if I told you you open it with R, but if you do slash, you can do creative, survival, and then you have enchant, which is probably one of my favorite things and probably the best one of the best things for people that make maps. So what you do is type in chant and say you want, I don't know, knock back, knock back, two. So you can type in half of the word. It's really not that difficult. But say, I mean, obviously you can get knock back two, but you can also do things like knock back one. You can do, so you have ten. So let's see, you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then you get the point. You can also do instead of that, you can do up to 10,000 levels for it. So you get knocked back. Level 16, I guess, is the highest that it shows. But I mean, look how far it shoots. I mean, you couldn't really see it there. But they shoot them really, really far. But that that's really, really cool. And you can get anything on any weapon. Uh, I don't think, like, thing if you got something that's like blast protection on an axe, I don't think that would really do anything. But that is the basic idea of this whole mod. It's really, really cool, and I really, really like it. And I think I'm—I think I actually enjoy it more than too many items, uh, which I—I I think that I mean, it's easier to use, in my opinion, because I mean you have to look through the pages instead of just typing in what you want. And plus, you can add enchantments, which is really, really awesome. Um, oops, uh, stupid little. Uh, my mouse is derping out, so I have to use my laptop mouse or the touch the touch mouse on my laptop instead of my 
Logitech mouse. Um, because that's, it either needs new batteries or completely replaced. Uh, I think it might need replaced because it's done this a few times before, and putting battery in, uh, putting new batteries in doesn't really seem to help that much. Maybe I just need to air it out, but whatever. So you get the idea. Uh, so I've been Link if you've forgotten who I wash. I mean, who could forget who I wash? I mean, because I'm 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 Link from the Green. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, if you have honestly forgotten from the beginning, or you just didn't care at the beginning enough to listen, I'm Link from the Green Moose, and this is the Summon Mod. And I will see you guys next time. I hope you enjoyed this.